Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, uh, welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope. I hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have a great day today, by golly. All day long. Um day, whoop, whoop. Let's get crack lacking. Been listening to people tell you your whole life who you are. Shut them voices down and just be yourself. Be who you are. Tell yourself who you are. Never mind what everybody else says. It starts out with your teachers telling you and your parents. Well, it probably starts out with your parents and then your teachers and then people around you trying to mold you and just tell you who you are and what you're going to do. You tell them you want to be a professional sports player or something. Oh, you can't do that. You better find something else. Somebody already telling you who you are. Listen, don't tell people who they are. Let them make that decision for themselves. Guide them along, but don't think for them. That's the problem with this, this world, I think. A, a part of the problem is is everybody starts to think for you. Tell you what you can do, what you can't do, who you are, who you're not. Now, there's laws out there, and they're there for a good reason. So those aren't bad things. But the bad things are telling somebody what they can do and what they can't do. Somebody might be growing up and say, hey, you know, I want to. I want to build houses for a living. And parents say, no, you ain't doing that. You're going to college. You're going to be a doctor. Well, maybe they're just not cut out to be a doctor. Let them be what they want to be. Let them figure that out on their own. A little guidance like, okay, well, if you do this, this is what it takes. If you do that, that's what it takes. Um, you know, just let them make a, a decision on their own. Okay, so here's a deal. People have been telling your story for your whole life. Been telling you just who you are and what you are and all that. Now it's time to tell your own story. Now, you're not responsible for what happened to you as a child and what they programmed into you as a child, but you are 100% responsible as an adult to straighten that mess out in your head. Is it easy? Not always. Sometimes it takes a lot of work. You may have to see counselors and, or a psychologist or a spiritual coach or somebody that can help guide you along so you can unlearn the crap that was programmed into you and learn the right stuff and learn who you are and find out what you want not what everybody else wants but what you want and find out who you are who are you really who are you ask yourself that question if i'm not a parent or uh, whatever kind of job you're doing or a child of somebody else who am i who am i ask yourself who am i and see if you really know and if you don't then it's time to do a little searching and figure it out uh, there's a lot of freedom in that when you know who you are, when you know who you really are and what you really want. Instead of what you've been told your whole life, uh, there's really a whole lot of freedom in that. It's just like, wow, I just never, I just never knew. Uh, I had that question posed to me one day. If you're not a business owner, a husband, a father, who are you? And I went, I am. And that's as far as I got. I had to really think about it. I had to do a little work around that. I had to get rid of some old ideas that were programmed into me. And then I finally found out who I am. And man, oh man, that was a good feeling. You know, I related myself with my job for a lot of years because that was something good. So I related myself to it. Uh, it was not a bad thing necessarily, but that's not who I was. Uh, that's not who I am today. That's just something I do. Don't identify yourself with what you do. That's not who you are. That's what you do. Um, you're a child of God for one thing, a walking, talking, breathing miracle. Well, that's a starting point right there. And then from there, you can figure out who you are and what it is that you really enjoy in this world and do more of it and be more of you. If you don't like who you are today, it's because you're not who you you're not being who you really are. You're being what somebody else told you to be. Change that. Get rid of that. Unlearn that crap and learn who you really are. It's going to take some time and it might be emotional at times. But you can do it. You can learn who you are, and it can be wonderful. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Over.